Alright, here we go. We're gonna shut down the R-22. Get over the helipad over here. A couple of wind gusts. Alright, skids are down. Collectors full down. First thing I'm gonna do is roll the RPM down to 75% with my left hand on the throttle. Once it's at 75%, I'm gonna reach back and put my collector friction on. Pedal's neutral, my left foot, and cyclic friction's coming on. Once I have all three controls secured, I'm gonna reach down with my right hand and get my checklist out. All right, start down procedure, collective down, RPM 70 to 75%, and friction's on, so that's trick. Cyclic and pedal's neutral, that's trick. All right, siege. HT drop is throttle closed, so my cylinder head temperature. I'm going to wait approximately two minutes or so. Let it get down to about 300 degrees. It's right below 350 right now, so it's it's cold out today. So it's only going to take about two minutes. In the meantime, I'll just wait. Going to make sure my car beats off. My which car beats off. I'm going to keep my left hand on the elective. I don't fully trust the frictions. I don't want the elective to pop up on me. Got my cyclic is secured between my knees right here. Left foot on the pedals. And I do everything with the switches with my right hand. It looks like that cylinder and temperature uh, dropped pretty quick. It's about 300 degrees now. So once I have the CHT drop, we're going to go ahead and close the throttle. So the throttle is going to be all the way to the right. With my left hand, I'm going to roll the throttle to the right. Our RPM is going to drop. Clutch switch disengaged. So here's my clutch switch right here. I'm going to flip that up. Disengaged. We're going to wait 30 seconds and pull my mixture. So uh, it's uh, two minutes, it's at 2.30, I'm going to go ahead right down here, take the mixture guard off, and pull the mixture up. All right, coming up to the two minute, 30 second mark. Here we go, I'm gonna take my mixture guard off. Here's my mixture, I'm gonna push in the middle and pull up on the outside. There you go, the engine is now off. I'm gonna wait another 30 seconds and we're going to apply our rotor brake. Alright, there's our 30 seconds. Here's my rotor brake up here, and I'm just gonna pull that. Only want about 8 to 10 pounds of pressure on this thing because you don't want it to pull too much and the chain to do a snap. If the chain snaps, then we don't have anything to slow the blades down, so we have to wait a long time for those blades to uh, spool, spool down.
All right, the blades are stopped. I'm going to go ahead and uh, engage my rotor brake. Clutch light, it says extinguishes, but the clutch light's off. So here's your clutch light, clutch light's off. And I'm going to turn on my avionics, which is off now. So my transponder down here is going to be set to off. Radio is going to off. GPS, I'm going to pull this switch out. That's going to put the GPS. Nav lights off, strobe light off, clutch switch disengage, alternator off, and uh, master switch and the key are off.